Pardon me. I don't know half the time if I'm on shore or on dry land. <laughs> Ever since I started teaching swimming here at my swimming school, I've tried to do one thing. <laughs> learn to swim. <laughs> but I just can't get myself interested. I hate the water. <laughs> An experienced instructor in this Caldwell Point system rows you in a boat to a deep, deep spot right in the water and then points for you to look at something. When you look, he pushes you in and yells, Shark! Shark! <laughs> As he rows away. <laughs> now, we classify students as follows. Very swell. Sort of good. <laughs> Water shy and yellow belt. <laughs> now, for the student who insists on privacy, we have a special school facilities for the bashful beginner. <laughs> we also got special classes in diving for the beginner. This is one of the few classes where the parents can enjoy watching their youngsters very first diving lesson. <laughs> also, for the busy executive, we have just opened a drive-in swimming school. One of our most popular stuff is the group class, which meets every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, when our facilities are turned over to the middle-aged women with that extra bulge here and there. <laughs> Before I wind up this thing up, I want to remind you that swimming <laughs> can be hazardous and dangerous too. So, with this in mind, I'm offering without charge and no money my own special life-saving method, which I just perfected. It is known as mouth-to-mouth -mouth rescue breathing. <laughs> Everybody, stop the life saving already. <laughs> and skis. Here I am in my wintertime resort place, high atop Mount Avalanche, which is only a few miles away from the emergency center, unless the ice melts. No matter how cold it gets here during the day, at night it gets dark. From the top of my mountain lodge, you can look down and see a beautiful, never-to-be-forgotten view. You can see all the skiers from the day before piled up all frozen stiff at the base of our 700-foot surprise jump. Because of this unusual phenomenon, no, no. <laughs> Hundreds of families from all over 
come up here every year and take a look down for anyone they might recognize. <laughs> the minute you arrive here in this swirling blizzard and cold, you are hustled off to one of our heated cabins. <laughs> Mount Avalanche is the only resort in the mountains to have an outdoor ski wash. <laughs> We are also proud of our excellent Olympic ski instructors. Men who have spent half their life in perfecting grace and perfect form. <laughs> because of the increase in skiers, we have special ski trains which come from all points and terminate right in front of our ski lodge. <laughs> so, come to my lodge, where during the height of the winter season, we are visited by many well-known celebrities. <laughs> So come up for a salon <laughs> and skiing too, and I'll guarantee you that when you come up here and do what I said, you'll go back looking and feeling a lot different. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm glad you dropped in. You're just about to witness a great thing in car invention things. My new compact car handy washer for small cars that need small washing done. Simply look. <laughs> Want some more syrup? <laughs> now, you have just seen something remarkable. But also this. When I started this car renting thing, I started with one car. And I almost went out of business because of a nutty quirk I had. I didn't want anyone else but me to drive it. I hired people only after they passed a special brain test I worked out. They got the job immediately if they never heard of the minimum wage law. <laughs> My cars are the safest on the road because we safety check the car from bumper to bumper. Brakes, lights, tires, everything that's in the bumper. <laughs> I prize myself in keeping my cars in top condition. You drive worry-free, and each car has a one year's guarantee. I guess the year was up. <laughs> you can rent it here and drive it wherever you want to, and you can leave it anywhere in the country, anytime. We put you behind the wheel of a brand new car. No credit cards, no signature. We trust our customers. <laughs> well, we certainly got to hand it to you. And if you're in a hurry, just call us and one of our cars will be there waiting for you. <laughs> Some people are in more 
of a hurry than others. <laughs> One of our manager owners will gladly help you select a car. And if another customer wants the same one you want, you can toss him for it. <laughs> If you should find there is something about our service that dissatisfies you, we will be delighted. <laughs> Building lovers, I didn't mean to slight you. I just didn't want to talk right now. I spared no expense to put the finest material and workmanship in all my houses. And I tried to do sort of nice work in the houses I built for you people, too. <laughs> I save you money from past experiences, like your garage. I built that on the second floor, allowing you a nice lawn instead of a silly old driveway. I learned this, this great money-saving idea when building a bridge over a river for the city. Instead of the bridge, I simply painted little arrows to another bridge 60 miles away and pocketed the difference. I came from a poor family. But I was determined to make good. My mother urged me to leave home and make something of myself. I'll never forget the day my mother saw me off. <laughs> mother was heartbroken. But Dad, being a man in the house, took it calmly. <laughs> For a nut. <laughs> I became the hottest developer in the West. I didn't even advertise, and as fast as I built them, poof! Like hotcakes they went. <laughs> All my competitors were talking about how fast they went. Now, there is no excuse for everyone in the world not seeing my homes. If you are driving, my signs are all over so you can't even miss them. <laughs> in my early childhood, I lived in slums and now I wanted to get rid of them. And here's what I did to get rid of these slums. City then gave me $75 million, and here's what I put up. <laughs> In a country like ours, it's a disgrace to have the crowded slums that we have. So, let us try to spread them out some more. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>